right, so now actually we're going to pick up with collimation on the telescope. Um, and then this will be the final chapter in setting up your 10-inch uh, Teeter's telescope for the first time. So inside of these shipping containers, uh, you should have received an Allen wrench here uh, with a nice nifty red handle on it so that it can't be missed or lost inside of your uh, equipment case. Uh, so what you're going to do, this is going to be used to collimate the secondary mirror on the telescope. All right, so using either uh, an optical method or a laser collimator for the telescope, you're going to put that in and begin doing that. And to actually collimate, you have three bolts here on the back of the protostar spider. Um, so this red-handled Allen wrench simply goes in, and you'll feel that it engages the uh, Allen keys or the Allen bolts in there, and then you can simply go around and adjust. So that's really easy, really simple. Uh, it's not quite no tools but uh, you only need one tool and it's got a big red handle on it so you can't miss it and it's really easy to use even with gloves on in the winter so uh, not a bad deal and then we're going to swing the telescope around this way and I'll show you the collimation of the primary mirror okay uh, this is really simple as well this is actually more simple than uh, the standard mirror cells that I sell this is again the Aurora precision mirror cell this only has two collimation bolts rather than three on the typical uh, mirror cells out on the market. Uh, so simply turn this way or turn that way, so clockwise or counterclockwise, and the same goes for here. And that's it. Simple, easy, not a problem. Uh, only two bolts uh, to worry about. It's just these uh, two big brass uh, bolts down on the bottom. Hopefully by doing that and the secondary up top you should get into a nice precise uh, collimation there. Uh, so I believe that wraps it up. Uh, I think we have your 10 inch Teeter telescope assembled and ready to go. Um, on this particular one, we'll wrap it up by saying that this telescope can be carried if one so desires uh, as one entire assembled piece from inside your house or your observatory out to an observing field. Uh, what I suggest is uh, you take one hand you place it underneath of the tube assembly here, so underneath of the truss bolt, and take your other hand and use this nice big black handle here. And then you can simply lift it up and walk the telescope out the door like this. Just make sure you have a doorway wide enough. Um, you're going to place it on the ground, come back inside, pick up your rocker box, and then once you get back outside, you're going to put the mirror box and the rocker box together and then the telescope will be ready to use, and you can keep it all assembled uh, if you so desire. Alrighty, well, thank you. appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us or visit our website at teeterstelescopes.com.